Hello guys, I'm Kiri. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the first ever Fiat model, the 1899 Fiat 3.5 HP. HP is coming from the power of the engine 3.5 horsepower. This particular car is also one of the very earliest surviving Fiats and the oldest in Britain. The model was in production from 1899 to 1900 and for these two years they make only 24 examples. But today only four are survived. One is this car which is in the National Motor Museum in UK. Two cars are of course in the Fiat Museum in Turin, Italy. And one is in USA in the Ford Motor Museum. How was founded the company Fiat is very interesting. Today everyone knows the family Agnelli on Fiat, but actually they did not make the first Fiat model 3.5 HP. The brothers Seirano, Ernesto and Matteo, they started to produce this model in 1899. The family Seirano was long time in the business, then father was making watches, then bicycles, and finally the sons, they decided to produce in car with combustion engine. And this was actually the, the car, Fiat 3.5 HP. But very soon, in July, the same year, they sold the patent to Giovanni Agnelli just for 400 US dollars, who then produced the model Fiat 3.5 HP. Actually, he changed the name of the model to 4 HP, but was the same, the same car. And this model actually became the first ever Fiat. Fiat 3.5 HP or 4 HP, actually, I'm going to say again, is the same car. The car is for four people, but two adults and two kids. And the body style is interesting as well because the seats are opposite, so they facing each other. This style is known as vis a vis, probably from vision to vision or something like this. Anyway, the first Fiat was very fast back on the day because it was very light. The engine is on the back, it's straight to cylinder. 679 cc and producing how we said before 3.5 horsepower the compression was 4 to 1 and the cooling with water of course the transmission is three speed manual and it's chain chain transmission actually the car is long 2 meter and 300 millimeters is wide 1 meter 420 millimeters and is high 1 meter 450 millimeters. The wheelbase of the car is just 1 meter 470 millimeters. And the weight of the car, how we said before, the car is light, is maximum 680 kilograms, but some of the models they were less kilograms because of the body style. You know, on that time you can order to some coach company to build the body of the style differently so that's why the the weight of the car is different in some models but the heavy one was 608 kilograms some of them they were probably 500 kilograms the maximum speed of the car was of course when new 35 kilometers per hour or 22 miles per hour and the fuel consumption just 8 liters per 100 kilometers in 19 so exactly the the like the same like the most used today's cars 8 liters per 100 kilometers in 1900 when they built these 24 cars of this fiat model at the time in italy there was a total of 110 cars only so imagine uh, 24 of the 110 cars they were with the fiat batch some of the cars are different from the others we said before that because on that time the customers were choosing different coach builders depends uh, how they want the cars and from which region they are probably in some region is more cold so they're gonna order the car to be with with top in some very south regions of, of italy where it's hot of course you can order like open version but this was depends from the from the customers the lights how you can see here are actually with candles inside so 
the drivers they could not see nothing but probably the people who walk in on the streets they have to see the car more about the engine uh, the fuel system is with a carburetor and of course the fuel is gasoline it's rear wheel drive because anyway the engine is on, is on the back the brakes all brakes actually all around their drum brakes on the front and rear the size of the tires are 580 by 55 on the front but on the rear they are a little bit bigger 670 by 55 so probably because on the back side the weight was more on the back side the engine is there the adults actually are sitting on top of the rear axle that's why the rear tires and the wheels they need to be a little bit bigger i'm gonna say again the front 580 by 55 and on the rear 670 by 55 so you can see here on the front side where the kids actually should sit and they facing the, the adults who are sitting on the back side of the car and you can see the steering actually steering wheel is very interesting it's not uh, it's not round and the radiator on the front because the engine is with cooling with water the cooling of the engine is with, with, with water you can see here some information about the car of course the Fiat 3.5 HP and the small tires just have a look the lights I'm gonna say again they're not with uh, bulbs inside but with candles because this is 1899-1900 so the seats the back seats you can see and the top the roof is foldable so you can use the car actually during the summertime with open roof and then you can close if it's raining but let's see the details of the car just one more time let's have a look at the light how i said before inside this candle there is no electric lights inside of course the leather looks just have a look of the seats how they are nicely made of course the paint the color the color is very nice that uh, dark blue the wheels of course they are wooden wheels the number plate is very famous with this one of the very first uh, Fiat's AF579 the radiator on, on the front the suspension just have a look the spring leaves on the front axle and these small details one more time just have a look the Fiat Turin in English is Turin in Italian probably is Torino so just have a look one more time the wooden wheel and the seats for the small kids of course who sit in opposite the adults and they sit in quite high and just have a look the steering wheel is not it's not actually a wheel it's something like a wooden stick but it's the same doing the same job to turn the front wheels left to right and the horn is air horn as well just have a look how nicely it's made yeah everything is absolutely beautiful in this car also the gear stick you can see next to the seat where the driver usually sitting so with his right hand he changing the gears the wings as well the wheel wings to keep the driver and the passengers from the rain or from some dust but the wheels they are just amazing and with this center caps or what is just with the script fiat and turin just just amazing piece of art and just for surviving this very very rare car just for in existence one more time from this view the light and the horn air horn the seats for the kid and for the adults of course the roof is foldable the steering wheel lots of wood very very beautiful car and very well preserved of course the front tires how how i said before they are a little bit smaller than the back the back tires so 580 by 55 on the front and 670 55 on the rear but the wheels there really really just nicely made everything is nice because as well these cars they were hand built and here is some interesting lever which um, i don't know actually what for is but the gears that you can see here 
change the gears and the steering wheel of course you hold in the steering wheel only with one hand so you turn in the same like wheel actually but it's not full size wheel so guys i hope you like the video about this very very beautiful very early example of fiat 3.5 hp and one on one of four only in existence is if you like the video please subscribe my channel and see you next time guys bye